you might be familiar with the saying, what happens in Las Vegas stays in Las Vegas. A famous saying which is perfectly fit for a place which is known as Sin City. So if you are a frequent visitor of this city by air, then you must know the famous airport of Las Vegas. The Las Vegas airport became a gateway to Sin City is quite busy normally. Actually, it's the eighth busiest airport in the United States, serving more than 39 million passengers in 2021. In this video, we'll learn some really cool stuff about this airport. First of all, the name of the airport. It can be a really confusing part if it's your first time flying to the airport. Is it called the Harry Reid International Airport? Is it called McCarran Airport? What about LAS? As tricky as it may seem, all of these are in the same place. Originally called the McCarran Airport after Senator Pat McCarran and McCarran Field, the FAA approved the name change recently in June 2021. Signs are still undergoing the process of the name change, and the decision itself is costing a reported $4.2 million. The name change is to honor famed senator from Nevada, Harry Reid, who passed away in December of 2021. Another tricky part about this airport is the number of terminals. While you might see Terminal 1 and Terminal 3 when walking through the Nevada airport, you won't be able to find Terminal 2. That's because Terminal 2 was demolished in 2016. There are two passenger terminals for flights at Harry Reid International, Terminal 1 and Terminal 3. Terminal 1 solely hosts domestic flights, while Terminal 3 hosts both domestic and international flights. Although the terminals are separate buildings, you can easily connect between the terminals. If you've got time to kill before a flight, one of the best airport options is shopping. The retail options inside of Harry Reid International Airport rival those out in the city. Pick up gifts or souvenirs from big-time designers like Alex and Annie, Michael Kors, and Victoria's Secret. Be sure to stop by the duty-free store by Nuance for some discounts on items like designer perfume, spirits, fashion, and more. There are dozens of places to eat in the airport, and many of them are full-service bars. And then, being the gateway to the gambling capital, is that surprising to find that the airport has more than 1,400 gambling machines, including electronic kino, slot machines, and video poker. Do anyone win on those? If you are wondering that, here's a fact. In March 2021, a lucky traveler won over $300,000 moments before heading back to Texas. Traveling with kids then, take them to have a fun break in the middle of a long day at the play area in the airport. The play area is located on level 2 near the D gates. It is fittingly aviation themed, so kids can be inspired by their travels to play in the mini control tower and the jet engine. Aviation geeks will really enjoy the Howard W. Cannon Aviation Museum, which exhibits are spread throughout the airport. The main exhibit, located on level 2 above luggage claim in Terminal 1, is approximately 3,000 square feet. It focuses on the history of aviation in Las Vegas, as well as Southern Nevada. It features artifacts from the first flight in 1920 through the introduction of jets. The museum also touches on the history of Las Vegas, including the first airfield built in 1920 in Clark County. Want to keep your health in check? Then head to the Zero Level Fitness and Wellness in Terminal 1 near Baggage Claim 10. The gym is 13,000 square feet and has all the equipment you'd expect. The gym conducts group fitness classes and a spa is located on site. If you're not in the mood to work out, the gym rents single occupancy sleeping rooms by the hour, which will give you access to the shower and sauna facilities. A day pass is $25, which is probably worth it, even if all you do is steam in the sauna and then freshen up. So, it's time for the flight. But wait, what are the flight options? Nearly all of the major aviation companies fly into Harry Reid International Airport in Las Vegas. This includes famous airlines such as British Airways, Air Canada, Frontier Airlines, Spirit Airlines, Delta Airlines, and many more. There are also several international flights and aviation companies that fly into the Las Vegas International Airport. WestJet, Korean Air, and Eurowings Discover fly to Canada, Korea, and Germany respectfully. It all depends on where you want to go. So what do you think about the airport? Let us know in the comments. I'll see you at another time. In another video, stay in the loop.